Hello everybody, as the title shows, I will talk about the marine fossil bearing units from the middle late Mesozoic of Antarctica and the Argentinian paleontological explorations that are currently being undertaken by Soledad Goywiri Cavalli, who focused these explorations on the recovery of fossil fishes. The idea of this brief talk is to explain a little bit about the work carried out in Antarctica since 2015 as part of the Vertebrate Paleontology Research Group project of the Instituto Antártico Argentino and make possible thanks to the logistics of the Fuerza Aérea Argentina and the Comando Conjunto Antártico. This video summarizes the fieldwork carried out during the January and February 2020 expedition to Longin Gap in the Antarctic Peninsula where the Jurassic Amagino formation is vastly exposed. Although the planning for an expedition of this magnitude takes several months, it is only when we get to the Argentinian Marambio base when everything falls into place, thanks to the help and organization of the people in charge of the Omega, the site where everything is kept, tents, heaters, food, water, basically anything related to fieldwork supplies. Our fossil site, the Longing Gap, is the farthest away. It is about 113 kilometers from the base. It takes two double helicopter flights to get us there with all the equipment. Marine sedimentary units that are Upper Jurassic to Lower Cretaceous in age outcrop extensively at Longing Gap. Previous geological work in the area in 1965 suggested the presence of fossils. However, no vertebrate paleontological expeditions were carried out until 2015 when a team led by Dr. Gowiri Cavalli went there to specifically collect fossil vertebrates for the first time. That very successful expedition gave us a glimpse of the abundantly rich material to come in the following years. During the last field trip, among the many amazing discoveries was one of a new fossil fish a complete dapetiform, making this the first record of the group in Antarctica and all of Gondwana. Preliminary results about this new fish are presented in this meeting as a poster. Please refer to the presentation by Gowiri, Cavalli and colleagues, a new Neopterygian fish from the late Jurassic Amegino formation. Although not yet taxonomically assigned, our specimen is very similar to the dapetium, as, di as discussed in the paper. Numerous other fossils were recovered in this last field trip, and the material is currently being un under study in detail for future publications. Working in Antarctica is a fascinating experience. You never know what the day will bring. When it snows, it creates a surreal out of this world landscape, and we feel privileged for being able to live and see it. Sunny days are always working days, without exception. We can spend several hours just sitting in the same place, splitting the fine-grained mudstones and revealing their million-year-old organisms preserved in between them. In some exceptional cases, with many of them showing together in just a small piece of rock, bringing the excitement and happiness to everyone in the group. Thanks to the last five years of exploration and intensive collection, the taxonomic diversity of fishes from the Jurassic Amegino formation increased significantly, providing the Instituto Antártico Argentino with the largest vertebrate fossil collection from the late Jurassic of Antarctic Peninsula. The recovery from very distinctive scales and teeth to fully complete specimens allows us inferring a rich, very fish found and living at high latitudes in the Jurassic. In addition, indirect evidence from these Jurassic organisms gathered from their bromelites provides further information about their paleobiology and other biotic interactions. With these studies, we seek to increase the knowledge of the Jurassic taxa from the Southern Hemisphere, as well as improve our understanding about their anatomy, paleobiology, and evolutionary history. Thank you for watching from the 2020 team.